Hello, good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you lovely, lovely people have tuned in to watch this. Just quickly before we get on with today's video, can I just point you across to uh, another video on my channel? Probably the best giveaway in the world, 1500 sub giveaway. Um, if you haven't watched it, please do go across and watch it. If you haven't entered the competition, apologies if you can hear that. Uh, it's a train going past. Um, yeah, if you haven't uh, entered the competition, please do go over and enter it. Some lovely prizes up for grabs. Silverproof, the first prize. The Peter Pan set, second prize. And a couple of Royal Mint package coins as the third prize. So please do go across and have a look at that. And I thank you very much. The only thing I will say is if we hit the 1500 over the course of this week, this weekend, uh, it won't be drawn immediately because I'm away for a few days. So, moving on to today's video, and a shameless plug for the coincommunity.co.uk website. Uh, I wrote a blog post on here yesterday. Um, is collecting becoming too expensive uh, if you haven't had a look please do go across and have a look at it you can leave comments etc etc on the um, blog post and appreciate that also while you're there please do check out showcase your coins you can send in your photos to win a monthly prize it is drawn on the 14th of every month um, we haven't had many entries so far this month, let's lose coins, um, and you can win some cool merchandise and that kind of things. It is strictly, uh, the only way you can get the merchandise is through the competition, so please do go and check that out. So about the blog post, and I will mainly be talking about, sorry, um, the Royal Mint, although I'm on the um, Westminster website purely because it's easier uh, to navigate over on here. So is coin collecting becoming too expensive? Now the reason I questioned this was with the amount of coins not necessarily being released, but there seems to have been a shift towards higher denomination coins. For example, um, the five pound coins in particular. We've just had the Peter Rabbit come out. Um, no word whether that's gonna be part of a set, which I would imagine it probably will be. Um, you've got the Queen's 95th birthday, uh, the Mr. Men, the Royal Albert Hall. Um, what else do we have? Alfred the Great, the Griffin of Edwards, um, to do where else we have more, didn't we? Alfred the Great, the White Greyhound, um, Year of the Ox. You know, there just seems to be a real shift from the Royal Men towards um, five pound coins in particular, and that's a bit of a shame because these ones are never ever going to reach circulation. I believe also later on this week there is the Queen's Beast uh, Completer medal that is due out. Um, obviously in the current climate that we've had for the past 18 months it's difficult to release you know the 50p's and the £2 into circulation because the demand just hasn't been there for them. Hopefully now the we're slowly coming out of it. Um, we're going to see more 50p's and hopefully two pounds. Um, although I'm less hopeful on that, released in circulation. It would be nice to see a new A to Z set. Uh, I'd like to keep it A to Z, but with different images on the coins. But who knows what they've got planned? But it's it just seems to be very worrying that. 
I don't know. Maybe uh, I'm predominantly a 50p collector. I love my 50p's. Uh, obviously, um, the A to Z as well. Not so fussed about two pounds, although I do tend to buy most of them. Um, so five pounds, I was never particularly that fussed about. Um, although I have started probably over the last year or 18 months, probably because there's less chance to find any coins, um, I started to buy them. And it's just becoming incredibly exp expensive to do. Now, don't get me wrong, there are ways that you can um, lower that cost to you. Um, there seems to be a bit of a battle uh, going on at the moment between Westminster and Coin Club, which is great for us as collectors. Um, because it will always bring the prices down but for me personally although don't get me wrong I've got plenty of coins in the Westminster packaging um, or change check packaging whatever you want to call it I much prefer to get uh, the Royal Mint packaged coins because I'm interested to know the information that comes with the coin and it can work out very, very expensive to do. And it just seems to me that the, I say, I'm predominantly talking about the Royal Men. It just seems to me that um, they seems to have, seem to have cut a lot, an awful lot of their costs and then producing uh, higher denomination coins. What I, and what I'm talking about there is anybody who watches the channel on a regular basis will know um, I've hammered the Royal Mint um, on several occasions for um, what they've done with the 50p packaging made it smaller and a lot less information inside uh, the packaging it's not, not something I'm um, a fan of at all uh, certainly when it hasn't reduced the price of them at all I can understand them doing it and knocking a couple of quid off the price but they don't do that fortunately with the five pound coins you do get quite a bit of information in them but it just seems to me that and again I fully understand that they're a business um, and you know they're like everybody else they've experienced a really tough time this past 18 months or so um, but I mean on that level we've not even had um, any real decent sales from them uh, for well over a year now uh, we used to get the 25% off sales and that kind of thing um, and that we haven't had one of them not a good one for, for a long time um, and I just find it a little bit worrying that they they seem to be focusing on five pound coins. Uh, as somebody, as I say, somebody who generally this last eighteen months has gone out and virtually bought every coin that's being re released, uh, it can become incredibly expensive. Um, you know, a lot of us collect territories as well. Uh, we've just had another set released from Westminster, which is the uh, Mr. Ben set. Um, and that's going to set you back 30 quid for the set. So it's incredibly frustrating. I mean, I don't know how many of the Mr. Men they intend to release. I think they've kept that fairly quiet. Uh, as I say with the Peter Rabbit I suspect that is going to be part of a collection we've still got the ongoing uh, music icons music legends whatever you want to call them so it just seems to be really I don't know um, quite concerning for me I don't know a five pound coin was always reserved for me the way I looked at it 
a five pound coin was reserved for a special moment such as the Queen's birthday or something like that and it, it seems to be a massive shift now that we're just throwing anything on them and I don't know how I feel about that um, certainly when it appears that we're having one a week released um, you know it, it seems to be quite a worrying trend for me that the rubber and mint are going down and I say I, I don't mean to just you know pick on the Royal Mint um, there are many many other sort of you know companies out there um, producing coins but it just seems to me that the Royal Mint seem to have shifted towards the 50 p uh, 5 pound coin market and I'm not sure how I feel about that I've certainly I've made a conscious conscious decision um, I haven't ordered the Alfred, Alfred de Great and I haven't ordered the Peter Rabbit. I will say um, now, <laughs> just because I haven't ordered them at this moment in time, doesn't mean that I won't go and order them at a, a, a late date. Um, it's just purely at this moment in time. Um, they're not particularly two coins that um, I am particularly keen on. Um, Alfred the Great, I, I totally get, so I had this discussion with Lou, um, I totally get the design behind it, it's just not a coin design that I particularly like, and you could say exactly the same for the Peter Rabbit, it's not, not a design that I particularly like, so I haven't ordered it at, at present. But as I say, that's not to say that I won't order it. So I'm just going to leave it there for now then. Um, as I say, thanks for watching. And please leave a comment down below. Um, it, you know, Do you feel the same? Uh, do you feel there's been a shift towards the £5 uh, coin market? And if so, um, how are you uh, compensating that? Uh, are you going to be purchasing them or is it a denomination that you're not particularly interested in or like me have you just said well hang on enough's enough I'm not going to buy that uh, interested to know people's reactions so uh, thank you for watching keep yourself safe and I'll see you guys again soon and uh, please don't forget to go over check out the video uh, on the subs giveaway. Until next time, keep yourself safe and I'll see you guys soon.